hello guys welcome back to my truth channel for a long time i've been exposing the new world order and their shady agendas and and for the elites to fulfill these plans they need agents and puppets so a lot of people have been asking me this question how do people join the illuminati they have been asking me this question for a long period of time so i'm bored with all these spams let me just tell you guys how the illuminati recruit your favorite celebrities and other regular people before getting to that please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your family friend or colleague subscribe if you're new shout out to all our subscribers shout out to all our supporters our patreons and those who are commenting on our videos those who are liking our videos shout out to all of you guys you guys are so great and i love you guys so this video is just for educational purposes no one should try this shit before we dive into that, let me debunk one stupid and insane myth. People think that the Illuminati is fake. They think it's a fake conspiracy theory. But it's a lie. They are very real and they got branches all over the world. They even recruit people from all walks of life. They recruit YouTubers, lawyers, doctors, musicians, actors, chefs, politicians, comedians and the list goes on and on. For real, a lot of you famous YouTubers are members of the Brotherhood and there are so many of them. So the Illuminati is real and they are well known for putting symbolism in different different areas around the world. But if you really think you're gonna join the Illuminati by clicking some random link on the internet, <laughs> you gotta be a lunatic. Do you really want to see people getting racks of money bags? You know what I mean? <laughs> if it was that easy, I mean, if it was that easy, everyone would have done it. But the truth is that it's a false flag. Those people you see on the internet posting links and sending random messages are scammers. They are all scammers. Here's the real deal the Illuminati is everywhere and they are just another secret society there are a lot of secret societies there are a lot of secret cults like the freeman sons club 27 the bohemian cult the skull and bones the Amog, and a lot more there are a lot of secret cults but the illuminati is famous and well known because they keep promoting their brands in movies in tv shows in music videos and all this stuff but like I said, it's a secret society. It's a secret society. So it's not open to the public. It's very hidden in plain sight. And they're very selective on the people that join the Brotherhood, if you know what I mean. So let's expose the occult. Let's expose how they get these celebrities, I mean, these people that you see on TV. Let's see how they take these people from nothing to something. Down to the Illuminati, these people have legit agents. I mean, they have legit recruiting agents that they go around looking for people with destinies. Like I said before, everyone living on, on, on Earth has a star. Some stars are bigger and some stars shine brighter than others. These are spiritual things, and I know. A lot of people are not going to understand this, but this is the first step. I want to show you guys the spiritual side of it. They look at your star. I mean, every single human being has a star. And if you're a Christian, you remember that Jesus Christ had a star. And the wise men followed the star. That was how they were able to locate Jesus Christ. So like I said, every human being has a star and they follow your star. So they target those who bright stars. And have you ever asked yourself a question? Why do we call celebrities stars? Why do we call them stars? Because stars tend to shine and the whole goal of the Illuminati is to illuminate for the devil. So that's what they do. They send their agent, they send their recruiting agents to reach around, to go around the world and look for stars, people who have stars because they have to use the spiritual stuff to manifest in the physical. We live in a physical world, but it's being run by spiritual things. 
but it's being run from the spirit realm. That's why the Illuminati is hidden in plain sight. That's why this, is, that's why they're secret. But the truth is that it's like they're taking things in the spirit realm and bringing it to the physical realm. So they go around looking for stars, and these people know their destiny, and they're in the process of achieving their destinies. On the other hand, we have the masses. We have the lost souls. I mean, they are pretty lost on earth. They don't even know why they're here. So the lost souls are just like the followers. They are like the sheeps, okay? So here's the game, here's the game of the Illuminati. They look for these stars, they get the stars, and they create a deal with the stars. They get them into selling their souls for fame and money so that they can promote these stars to the masses. And you guys know the masses are the lost sheep. They have no direction. So they tend to get the stars who will be like the shepherds so that these shepherds can lead the lost sheep to hell that's the syntax that's the syntax of the illuminati because the illuminati is being controlled by satan the light bearer so like i said they have many branches everywhere and there's a branch over here like there's a branch in my state there's a big branch in another state and wherever you're watching me there's probably a branch for real but you cannot know these things because these things are spiritual these are spiritual things and for you to live in this world physically then you're lost and you can know these things except you're a spiritual person so this is the real deal this is how it goes if the devil knows that you're gonna be famous if the devil knows that God made you to become a famous musician or a famous actor or a famous YouTuber or whatever, he will make life very very difficult for you. He will make life very very hard for you because life is hard and we all know that. And certain times in life we pass through certain storm, we pass, we pass through a lot of hard times and all these things. Okay. And most people are about to give up. So they make sure they put you in a state where you're about to give up and then the devil will lead you to these people. He will lead you to he will lead you to these agents by series of trickish way. For musicians, they mostly do deals in the music industry. I mean they sell their souls in their contracts. But for the normal people, I mean, if you want to be the best attorney, if you want to be the, some celebrity chef, you have to go and meet them. Like, you have to go to some branch. So, this is what they will do. They will make you to locate the nearest branch. So, they will make you to locate the nearest branch or they will reach out to you. And when you get into the branch, I mean, you'll meet the leader. Who is probably a reptilian i know a lot of you guys don't believe in reptilians but the truth is that the reptilians are real they are hybrids and they are possessed by demons so the reptilian i mean the reptilian will have a chat with you and will give you paper to sign in that paper you will see the whole contract in which you're making a deal with the devil and you have to sign that paper like you're doing a blood deal. I mean, they'll ask you to get the, your your right wrist, I mean, your hand, and blood will come up from your hand, and you have to use that blood and sign a deal with the devil. That's how they do. That's how people sell their souls. That's how people make blood deals with the devil. And this is so real. Just like you're seeing it in this video clip, that's that is a real life circumstance i mean this thing is so real and that's what people do on a daily basis so you cut your your hand and make it deal with the devil pledging your soul to sit and pledging to worship him pledging to to follow whatever he wants you to do and that's what people do and once you once you do that they'll give you some instructions and you go back home and from there on you start getting some attraction so there are levels to, on there are levels upon levels okay when you see these very famous celebrities don't think that they just became famous overnight no there are levels upon levels so depending on what you're willing to sacrifice you so you get very famous you get very very famous according to what you are willing to offer 
I mean, when you see guys like Jay Z, Beyonce, they're in the top levels, they're in a very, very high levels because they have done a lot of sacrifices in the spiritual realm. It's like you're building your muscles, right? You know, for you to become a very, very strong bodybuilder, you have to sacrifice a lot of time in the gym, do a lot of blood sacrifices, do a lot of evil things that I don't want to call, but that's what they do. That's how the spirit realm is. For you to grow spiritually strong, you have to do some sacrifices. That's what people do. So when you see these guys become very, very famous, don't think that they just sign like sell their souls and the next day they become they became very famous. No, because when you get famous in that level, you easily fall off. But they, but this, this is what they do. They keep doing rituals. They keep doing sacrifices. They keep doing a lot of bad things every single day to keep or to maintain that level that's why you hear about people drinking blood killing babies and all this stuff like this is what they do this is what the elites do and they do it on a daily basis they do it on a daily basis because they want to keep they want to keep growing spiritually they don't want to keep hitting that that next milestone but it's all evil it's all satanic and guys like once you do that you have opened your spiritual eyes then now then now you're able to see all the principalities in this world you're able to see the mermaids in the water you're able to see um demons you're able to see fallen angels and all these things and when you see these very famous celebrities you have to know what they do i mean before they go for a concert they they do sacrifices they do rituals and when they go for that concert during the concert you see people will die a lot of people will die during the concert I mean, if you guys remember very well, you, you can also check it online. Michael Jackson, when he, whenever he went for a concert, people died during the concert, or people died after the concert. I mean, you guys don't know why it was, you guys don't know what happened, but that is a sacrifice. I mean, they do sacrifices. That's why you see people die around celebrities, their parents die, their brothers die. I mean, die by some kind of like crazy means that you, you like you don't really you, you don't really get it why people dying around these people it's all part of the, the, the deals they make with the devil because the devil is only out to kill steal and destroy there's nothing else he's, he's out to do but anyways i think i've exposed the truth that is how people sell their souls to the devil that's how the devil that's how the illuminati get the their celebrities so a lot of um and also one thing that i want to notice that you one thing that i didn't tell you guys is that once you sell your soul to the devil it's it's like he doesn't only really take over your soul he takes over the souls of your generation i mean your kids your children and your grandchildren your great-grandchildren i mean it's like you're you're making a pact with the devil for your whole generation so he won't only uh, mess up your life he will mess up the life of your kids he mess up the, the life of your grandkids that's why in the Bible it says that that God will punish the the parents for the for the sins of God will punish the children for the sins of their parents right to the fourth generation. So when you get yourself into this level where you have the curse from God, it will not only affect your generation, it will affect your fourth generation. And your children, I mean even when you're dead, your children will have to pass through a lot of traumas and all these things because of what you did. So that's the truth there and that's why i know a lot of people have been reaching out to me like, like asking me how they can sell their soul to the devil and i give me dumb ears because i know how dangerous it, it is and it's easy to do that but it's very dangerous because it's so 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 satanic i mean why would you why 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 we want to do something crazy like that when you know very well that whatever that you want is in the hands of God you could just ask him and be patient and you just get it but if you want the fast way the fast the easy road then you have someone that's able to give you a little bit of pleasure money and, uh, and all these things and takes your soul for eternity so I guess I've exposed the whole stuff thank you guys for watching leave it just in the comment section and tell me what you think about this